Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Now today's video is a little bit different from what we usually do on the channel because it's a what happens if kind of video. So going into this video, I have no idea what happens and that's the whole point of the video. Today's video, we're going to see what happens if you do not catch your starter Pokemon. Now, catching your starter Pokemon in this game is the catching tutorial. You have to catch your starter Pokemon, which has never been done before. And I'm actually a big fan of it. It's a really cool idea. And obviously, you're going to need to know how to catch Pokemon super early on in this game because it's a brand new technique of catching Pokemon. Yes, it's based on Pokemon Go, but still, you're not spinning it on the screen this time. You're using a Joy-Con, or obviously, if you're doing it in handheld mode, then you're pressing the A button or whatever. I haven't even played in handheld mode yet. But I actually wanted to see what happens if you fail your starter Pokemon. If you get all the 10 Pokeballs failed, if you throw them all off to the left or the right, because I'm sure there's some people out there that, you know, don't exactly have an easy time throwing the Pokeball, and they might fail all 10. So I have no idea what happens. I don't know if you guys have no idea what happens, but I don't know if it's going to go well and we're going to like get a new scene from P Professor Oak or it's going to like automatically catch it for us on the last go or anything. Literally no idea. So if you guys are excited for this video, please do drop a like down below. Also leave a comment as well if you do enjoy these types of videos, um, like the what happens if kind of videos. Definitely leave a comment down below as well asking me to do some more or any other ideas that you do have like what happens if kind of videos because I absolutely love the fact that I have no idea what's going to happen going into this video. Um, but yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's go catch our starter Pokemon. Now, you can obviously do it at the very, very start of the game. Makes sense. But like I say, yeah, I'm a big fan of the fact that you have to catch your own starter Pokemon. Like I say, it's never been done before, but it's definitely needed because, like I say, it's a brand new catching technique. So I only really thought about this the other day when I was recording the cart with my brother. So I caught my Pikachu the first time. So I didn't really notice the fact that I only had 10 Pokeballs and stuff like that. But my brother missed his first throw and his Pokeballs went from 10 to 9. So it got me thinking like what actually happens if you do miss all your Pokeballs and you fail your star Pokemon. Because like I said, I bet there's some people out there that can fail their star Pokemon now. I'm going to save it just before I get to Professor Oak. Just in case I mess it up and I accidentally catch it. Um, but yeah, I don't know how difficult it is to fail 10 throws in a row. I don't think I've ever done it before, so... But I'm going to purposely try it and see how it goes. So obviously, as soon as you hit the Pokemon in this, it will catch it automatically. So I pretty much have to um, just miss 10 in a row. Um, I can't hit the Eevee, otherwise it will catch. So we've saved it. So I'll just keep spawning here um, just to see, like, because I've already tried recording this twice and I've hit the Eevee on my 10th go, which was a little bit annoying. And obviously I hit it on my, I hit it on my third go as well. Threw it over to the left, so I don't know if that was just bad aiming on my part or whatever, but we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, I do fail 10 in a row this time, but yeah, I have no idea what happens as soon as you fail all 10. I don't know if you guys do, but let's just find out together. But yeah, like I say, I'm super excited about this video because I honestly have no idea what happens. So this is the cutest thing I've ever seen, though, this little Eevee part here. That's just the cutest noise ever. Like, don't even at me. It's just the best. Anyway, here we go. What happens if you fail catching your starter Pokemon. So this is obviously the tutorial, so Oak's gonna go through, blah de blah de blah Oh, what are the chances of finding an Eevee around here? Why don't you practice some Pokemon catching? Just have to throw out your Pokeball and try and land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. So, hold your Joy-Con horizontally and point it straight at the screen. With your Joy-Con pointing in the press the A button, blah de blah blah. Anyway, boom, get ready. So, you can throw your Pokeball while waving your Joy-Con. Don't forget your surrounds, you can go waving that Joy-Con around the place. Throw it to the left. No. Okay, and I'm back. As you just saw, I just caught it on my first one. So, not great. I'm going to throw it to the right and see what happens because the left does not seem to be going well. But <laughs> it's just the worst start ever, really. I mean, I hit it on my first ball. So, very unfortunate. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm going to throw it to the right. I feel like if I just flip the Joy-Con to the right, it should be all good. So, yeah, that was an absolute fail. But let's see. Hopefully, we can fail 10 Pokeball throws in a row. So, let's just see how that goes. Anyway, go through the whole catching tutorial. If I do fail again, I won't go through the whole Professor Oak thing again. I'll literally just go straight back to catching thing. We're doing this today, guys. We're doing it today. Anyway. Yes, I know about it. Come on. All right. Okay. All right. Let's throw it to the right. Okay. So, attempt number three. This is not going well. This is not going how I, th I thought it would go. All right. We finally failed one. That's the first one failed. Okay. Nine balls left. Got to make nine more fails. Boom. Easy. Easy. I say do it. Boom, eight. Eight left. Another fail coming up. No.
hours later. Okay, and we're back. I finally got it down to one Pokeball. I decided to do it handheld mode. It's a lot easier, but we are in our last Pokeball. It's taken me a long time to do this, but we are finally going to see what happens if you do not catch your starter Pokemon, as long as I miss this last throw. Okay, here we go. Please just miss it. I want to see what happens. There we go. We've missed all 10. What happens when you fail your star Pokemon catch? Let's see what happens. I've missed all 10 now. You can see in the bottom that it said last Pokeball. I've just missed it. I feel like he's just going to give me another 10 balls. Maybe Eevee's going to run away. I have no idea. If he gives me another 10 balls, I'm going to be super annoyed because I've spent so long doing this. I just do not want to throw any more balls at Eevee. Let's see what happens. All right. Three, two, one. It can be a bit trickier than it sounds, wouldn't you say? I'll give you some more Pokeballs to give it another go. Okay, so if you fail your star Pokemon, he just gives you another 10 balls. That's, that's what happens. You get a little bit more text saying that, oh, it's a little bit more trickier. And then he gives you more balls. All of that. For that. I feel like I've been a little bit robbed. I feel like I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for not being able to hit this Pokemon uh, for me for hitting this Pokemon every single time I get can you fail it again you can still fail it I mean I that's that's what happens if you wanted to know what happens if you fail to catch a star Pokemon that's this is what happens you literally just just get another 10 Pokeballs I'm gonna just try I'm on a bit of a roll here why can I do it this time I'm literally smashing it this time. Okay, let's just see if I miss another 10. Okay, I can't believe this is happening. I spent so long trying to do this, and I couldn't do it once. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is insane. Okay, let's just see what happens, just in case you miss another 10. Okay. Two balls left. Okay, last ball. What happens if you fail again? Does he just give you more? Does he just give you more? Be a little bit trickier than it sounds, wouldn't you say? I'll give you some more. Okay, so you can't fail your star Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't run away. It doesn't un unlock any other cutscene or anything like that. It basically just uh, it just gives you more and more Pokeballs every single time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if it was a little bit anticlimactic. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit better than that. Uh, but I had no idea what happens if you failed your star Pokemon. But now I know. Like I say, though, if you want to know any more, like, how-to videos, more well, not how-to videos, but kind of, like, what-if videos, then please do let me know in the description. The... But, yeah, if you guys want to see any more what-if kind of videos like this, then please just let me know in the comment section below. I think it was really fun because I had no idea what was going to happen. It took a long time to make this video. It shouldn't have. I should have just gone into handheld straight away, but I didn't think about that. And now, for some reason, I just threw it perfectly, like, badly ten times in a row. But, anyway... That is everything. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Like I say, leave a comment about what other what if videos you'd like to see. So I'm sure there's a bunch more in Let's Go. Um, but yeah, if you are brand new, please do subscribe. I've got a bunch of other Let's Go content coming. I do da daily streams on this channel. I do a bunch of Let's Plays, Top 5s, and then of course these kind of videos as well. So if that sounds good on your eardrums, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. That is everything from me though, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time, peace.